Hey guys, this is Bogdan and today I'm gonna explain you how to use Unity Baked the light maps in the flat lighting system. So the first thing that we need to do is uh, make our object static because that's how Unity lighting system works. So the cube are already static, this is static as well and the ground is static, so only the static objects are included in the light mapping. Then we go uh, to the lighting window of Unity and we choose whatever settings we like. For example, I enabled ambient occlusion and uh, the ambient source is just a light gray color. So that's are the only settings that I'm using right now. After we select the settings and we mark our object static, we press build and just uh, wait for the light maps to be baked. As you can see, nothing's actually changed in our scene. That's because we have to enable the Unity light maps in our material. So we select the first cube and light mapping, we go to Unity. So as you can see, it appears that the light map is there, but it's just uh, not picking the light UV channel. So we have here UV channel list that we can select. Go to one. Unity normally bakes the light maps in UV channel one, but we can actually configure that. And we select the other cube, activate Unity, in the use light mapping, and again, UV channel 1, we select the ground, light mapping, unity, and it's already selected one for us. So as you can see, with this we have a nice, very subtle ambient occlusion there. If I move the cube, you see the shadow stays there. This cube, again, has subtle shadow. So this is how you use bake light maps in Unity. You can also pr also provide your um, custom light maps if you bake them in Blender or other software. You can just put the texture here again, choose the UV channel and you actually can specify the color and some other settings as well. Thank you very much. See you next time.